Hey, y'all. I'm going to get on here and talk about this interview. Everybody's talking about it. Oh, man. I believe that this man just... I mean, he might as well be. I don't even want to see him in prison. Um, what a sick man. What a sick man. Oh, 5.30 sticks with me. So then many videos. Believe that he went home before the cops. What did he do this summer? What happened, you guys? I think they're going to find her. Everybody is looking for her, thinking about her, praying for her. And I think that something's going to lead somebody to something and they're going to find her. I have faith. I have hope. I believe that. I don't think that. I, I don't know. I don't believe that all those dogs, there's like 20, 30 dogs on that property. One just had a litter of puppies, you know what I mean? Maybe multiple of them had litters. And you have male dogs that are obviously not fixed. Female dogs that are obviously not fixed. Tell me that they're all just gone. They're just gone. And how does he know that they're gone? If he's at work, how does he know this? My other question is, how does, uh, how does Dawn call Candace while they're out to find out what time she's going to be home? If Candace didn't have cell phone coverage or service, or was it just that she didn't have cell phone coverage when she was at home, but yet her internet worked, even though the boys were on glued to the YouTube and whatever else? Because I know when I lived in a little bit more of a rural area than what I'm in right now, we had internet, Wi-Fi, whatever, et cetera. And, I mean, we could Netflix, we can yell on the phones, do whatever we want to do. But, like, my brother, he's a gamer. So if he's on his computer, ain't nobody getting no internet. Nobody getting no internet. No. Slow as heck. You sure ain't making Facebook Messenger calls. Sorry. So, there's that. I'm, I've been living in rural areas, ruler than where he's at. So, I lived on top of a mountain. Absolutely off the grid. Um, I don't, I don't trust him, you guys. And I don't even believe that it was an accident. Whatever happened to her, I don't think that it was an accident. And how dare he put that on that boy? Jeez, man. And, you know, that they got to go find me. I don't know if this is a scammer or what. But supposedly all funds are going straight over to Candace and Donald Wells now um, to fix their house. So they can get their boys back. Please. Oh, please. I'm going to find Summer. Oh, my battery's died. Mm -hmm. I need to find Summer. And then what else was it? Uh, okay, at the prayer vigil. I don't know if anybody noticed how standoffish everybody was being before Dawn had to hurry up and get Candace out of the situation because Candace starts crying because I'm sure she started feeling the guilt when they started praying for the poor lady. <laughs> you know, and, um, but they were both real standoffish. Candace standing behind the crowd, Dawn standing way off to the side, not around anybody, arms folded. Arms folded means sign of guilt, insecurity, um, 
you know, when you're praying, you want to open your arms, you want to open your heart, you want to open your soul for the miracle of God to come and help you do what you're praying for. Uh, you know, so it's just, I don't know. There's that. Um, I think they're cracking. I think they're breaking. I'm praying and hoping that if not one, both of them end up in jail. I'm sorry, but they should be in jail regardless. Contributing to minors. I know there's no hardcore evidence saying that he said, she said, you know, um, you always have that game going. I don't like how Ali lipped Park. And then she just kept. You know what I mean? Like, what's all that? What's all that? You know what I mean? I don't like how she lipped Park to H. Um, do I believe that Summer could possibly have been essayed? I do. Sorry, I do. If not by the boy, not her brothers, but the boy, if not by him or something, um, the dad. Actually, I don't even think that H did it at all. I don't think that he did. Well, I think he knows more. I think there's something, there's something about H. I'm not really quite sure yet, but I think that she was essayed by her dad. And I think that they were afraid of somebody finding out. They knew CPS was coming soon. Needed alibis. I think this whole, this whole day, June 15th, 2021, was a whole setup and a whole alibi. Honest to God, I do. That is what I, I'm sticking to this, you know? I don't know the circumstances around it. This is allegedly, and my opinion, of course, because obviously I don't know. But I honestly, in my opinion, allegedly believe that um, this is not a kidnapping. This is a stage. This whole thing is a stage. Allegedly. Um, it's my opinion. For money. I don't like how he's been bragging to his dad. Allegedly. About uh, receiving funds. Since Summer went missing. Collecting money off of him. Or off of people. I don't like the fact that I get on Facebook. And I see uh, GoFundMe or a uh, donation page or whatever and I guess the link is broke I don't know if it was a scam or not but supposedly to fix up their house to get their kids back the other kids you know what I mean but I haven't seen them playing for anybody to bring their kid home their daughter I haven't seen them playing to find her find her period for closure for whatever you know all this money that they're getting donated to them you would want to I mean, if we do find a body, let's just say, I mean, hopefully not, but let's, you know, we find a body. They're going to rely on the community to put a funeral together. Not saying that anybody wouldn't, because I sure would. I would help fund. Yeah, absolutely. I would donate an RV. Absolutely. Um, for her funeral. Absolutely. It would go to somebody I would trust, Robin Lane or whoever the actual person putting it together would be because we know that they wouldn't right so but we we already know that they're not gonna put any of that money towards anything with helping find summer or bring justice to summer or closure for summer any of it laying her to rest if that's what it boils down to in the end I mean, hopefully somebody did take her and is taking care of her, not hurting her. But, I mean, what are the chances? Somebody getting in trouble for kidnapping a kid just to take care of them? I mean, 
They were out of their minds. And an abductor is not just going to abduct a, a little child and keep them, you know what I mean? Or abduct them just to kill them. So if they do have Summer, hopefully they still have her and we find her or whatever, if, if that is the case. We haven't ruled that out. But there, nobody is, the TBI hasn't came out and said that there's an abductor. They don't hardcore believe that there was an abductor in this situation. I mean, and they haven't came out and ruled out the parents. They have ruled out the neighbors. They've ruled out the co-workers. They've ruled out multiple people. But I have not heard them roll out the parents. Period. And until I hear that, it's their solid evidence that they have nothing to do with anything with Summer not being home. I mean, I'm, what do you think? What do you, I mean, what are we supposed to believe? You know, and that's what I'm going based off of. Speculations and stuff, yes, but I'm also going based off of what is being told or not told by TBI, I guess you could say, you know. Um, I feel like Don gave us a lot of information in his interview, regardless of whether he meant to or not. There's a lot of slip-ups, loose lips, slip. Um... He's sketchy. He's weird. He's he's a criminal. He mastermind. That dream he had, I think that was a replay of something in regards to Summer's disappearance. I don't know where she's at or area that she's in. I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I can guess, I mean, I do hope the TBI gets something out of Chris McDowell's uh, interview, because, I mean, dude's sketchy, man. And everybody's talking about, I mean, nobody's, nobody even is even going easy on Candace at this point, you know, because she's sticking by his side, as usual, but that's what an, a victim of an abuser does, you know shows their loyalty because they're afraid. And I'm sure that she's deathly afraid. I don't want to say deathly like as if she would die or anything like that, but I'm sure she's afraid of being alone. She lost her kids. She how did she has no job. How would she support herself? Right? So she's gonna defend him because what else does she know? That's her comfort zone. I'm sure that that's why they looked the way that they did at that visual because, I mean, they both look like dirt. Why? Because they're probably restless, you know? It's coming to an end for them. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. I look like dirt. I worked all day. Whoa. She almost jumped on me. I worked all day. In the heat, I had a mow. A lot of acres of yard today. And I came home early because it's a lot of smoke outside. I know. I I know. Yeah. So I get to spend time with the munchkin. And we're going to continue to pray for Summer Wells and her return. And I'm going to. I don't know. I mean, I think I'm going to re rewatch a few of the interviews, take down more notes, um, and try and think about key things that he said, because he said a lot, and sometimes you got to read in between the lines, kind of like President Trump, you know, <laughs> sometimes you got to read in between the lines to understand what they're saying, so I'm going to try and figure this one out. So we got to bring her home. We got to find her. We got to figure this one out. I feel like a lot of people are kind of comparing this case to the Chris Watts case. Fortunately, you know, mommy's still alive and home and well and wearing clean new clothes and getting money donated to her and whatever. The kids, they're not at home, but they are very well and better off right now, um, wherever they are. 
so the boys, I mean, um, so unlike the Chris Watts, we have one baby unaccounted for. And we need to find her. That's what this is all about. It's what it's been about, and it's what it's going to stay about. When we find Summer, we're going to get answers, and we're going to give her justice in any way. And I hope that they do lock some people up. Come on, Zai. I don't want people seeing our house because you got such a mess going on in there. You don't clean up or nothing. Look at your hands are so filthy. You need a bath. Yeah, it's bath time. You guys, I gotta go give my filthy kid a bath. So, I'm out. Feel free to comment. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Help me build my channel. I need more subscribers. Thank you for all the subscribers that I have so far. I'm hitting like 27. Woo! Got like 27 subscribers, huh? Yeah. For real, that makes me proud because this... 27 more than I thought that I would ever get so there's that <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys and I mean let's put our heads together and like I said, let's bring this baby home period peace